Hey guys, today I want to talk about something serious. I know in the past I've done a lot of videos about things and society that I really don't like, but today I want to talk about something that I think is actually more serious. It's not just something that kind of mildly ticks me off or something that isn't really a problem. I feel like today's subject though is a problem and it's something that I want to take more seriously so you're not really going to see any jokes in this video. So my topic for today is fake depression. Now depression is a very real thing. It's something that a lot of people suffer from. And what I think is great is that in the last year or so, there's been a lot of, there's basically been this movement of saying like, hey, instead of making fun of people or looking down upon people who have depression or mental illnesses, that we should try and help them and be more sympathetic. And I think that's awesome. But I also think with this movement comes a lot of people who are faking having depression, both online and in real life, and today I'm going to focus more on real life. Basically, they're using it to help their social stance, to get attention, really. And I don't think this is okay at all. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. How would I be able to tell if someone was faking having depression? Well, here's the thing. If you really have depression, are you just going to, like, go around telling everyone or post about it all over social media. No, if you're really having a serious problem, you're you're only going to tell people who you're closer to. So, you have all these people who basically just tell everyone that, hey, I'm, I'm depressed, I have so much anxiety, like... And you, you know that they're just using it as a social tool. And so I want to give you some examples of real people I know, I'm not trying to call them out or anything, and I'm not going to say any names, but I want to give you two examples of people who, they may have depression, but they're using it as a social tool regardless, and that's wrong. So the first person is in one of my classes, and they just constantly say things along the lines of, I'm so dead inside, and like my teacher will ask her how she's doing, and she'll be like, I'm terrible, I, I'm dead inside. Like. And it just really ticks me off because I know even if you have depression, why do you have to why do you have to use it as a social tool like that? Like it just really infuriates me. And there's this other person who I kind of know them and whenever I see them in the hallway, we'll always say hi to each other and I'd be like, hey, how are you? Which is the nice thing to do. You know, you ask people how they are. She's always like, oh, just so depressed, or oh, I wanna kill myself. And just like and it's the way she says, you know, like, oh, I'm so depressed, like, oh, I'm so depressed, like, clearly using it as a social tool, and that just really infuriates me. Faking depression is wrong for, I think, three main reasons. The first is that it's a huge slap in the face to people who may actually really have depression. Number two, even if that person did have depression, no one's gonna take them as seriously. And this goes with the first one. If you know a ton of people who just fake having depression, and then you meet someone who really does, it's a lot harder to know how to help them, or how to help them cope with that, when you've been around people who have just faked it all the time, who weren't really depressed. And really, it makes the people who really do look a lot worse. And third, it doesn't even make sense. It's like going around bragging about having a problem, because that's... Depression is a problem. It's something that needs to be helped. And it doesn't make any sense to me that you would go around bragging about something like that. It's like running into a friend and every time you see him, you're like, Hey, Jerry, how are you? And Jerry's like, Oh, you know, just dealing with my chronic back pain and arthritis. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Like, just because you say you're depressed does not mean you're depressed. If you think you are, you need to go to a doctor and have them say something about it. You shouldn't just go off telling everyone you're depressed because you self-prescribed it to yourself. And what kills me is these people all go together in these huge friend groups and they're like... It's basically a friend group built on the fact that they're all depressed. And so they just keep building each other. And if they are depressed, then they're not helping each other, they're just helping each other to continue the problems that they may already have. And so if you're someone who's watching this and you feel like you really do suffer from depression, then I'm really sorry and I hope that you can get help and that you have friends who will encourage you and try and help you. But if you're someone out there who just uses depression as a social tool, you're, you're doing something wrong. 
you're doing a disservice to yourself and others. Well guys, that's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed. I know this was like a really serious topic and I'm sorry to kind of throw that on you guys, but I just really wanted to talk about this because I'm so tired of all these fake people at my school. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys will like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.